Many years ago, a man came into our martial arts and our wellness school, and he had a dolly with an oxygen tank on it, and he had a cannula in, and he was asking, well, he was actually brought in by his cousin, who was one of our students at the time, because what we do is so breath work intensive. His cousin said, hey, if there's anything that could help you, this is it. Now, just to give you a background of what happened, because this is actually not a, a born condition. This is something that happened to him. He and his wife have always been adventurers and they were in the Himalayas. They were climbing and he started coming down with pulmonary edema where his lungs were starting to fill up with fluid. And so one of the Sherpas that was helping to guide them and tow their gear, he gave them some herbs that he said, this is what we take when this happens to us. And so of course, you know, trusting, he took these herbs and Instead of having the effect of helping his condition, they made it much worse. In fact, they, it essentially ate the majority of his lung tissue. And so he had to be rescued with a helicopter off of the mountain. And when he came back home, you know, one of the things that he had always wanted to do was go on a service mission with his wife for their church. And the church would not, would not allow him to go because his pulse oxygen level was so low that they said, it's not safe for you to go. So you're not, you shouldn't even be on a plane, much less go to a foreign country and we're sorry. And for about a decade, he, that was his reality. He had his oxygen tank and he knew that the dream of going on this mission with his wife was just never gonna happen. So he came to see us. And after three months of doing the Merpatiputi breathing work, he got the okay from his church because his pulse oxygenation level went from the high 70s, low 80s up into the mid 90s. And they said, oh, this shouldn't be, I mean, it's a medical miracle. You shouldn't be able to do this. But now I believe that he's been on three different service missions, maybe four. And that's something that we all have the ability to do, meaning we have the ability to heal ourselves. So if we can make ourselves sick, we can also make ourselves well. It stands to reason. And so much research and so much evidence is coming out showing the power of our thoughts and our mind, our emotions, the quantum field, the ability for us to change physical reality using our mind. It's there and more evidence is coming out all the time. This is just one example and we're so happy for him that he and his wife were able to do that, but most importantly for his life, never mind what he got to go and do, it's how he got to live. That was just an absolutely amazing story of recovery. And it is actually common in what we do and other breathwork circles, I've heard about it so many dozens and dozens of times that I've seen it with my own two eyes. It's amazing what we can do. So in your day, ask yourself, is there more that I can do for myself? Is there more that I can do to create amazing results in my life? Is it always about as hard, the hardest, harder you can work? Or maybe it's the more that you can love, the more that you can feel to create the life that you really want.